In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at every single item that I have in my Bosk collection. Hi there Star Wars fans, welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. And as I mentioned in the intro, we're gonna be taking a look at every item that I have in my Bosk collection. So obviously, as you know, my channel is called Bosk's Bounty. He is kind of like my favorite character from the Star Wars saga. Not necessarily my favorite character, because obviously you'd probably plump for someone like Chewie or Han Solo, but like the background characters, some people like Boba Fett, some people like IG-88. My favorite is Bosk. So obviously I made the channel, I made the website. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at everything that I've acquired over the years that's anything to do with Bosk. Now before I do that, I just want to show you a couple of bits that I have managed to pick over the last couple of days, which I'm not going to be making a video about, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you in this video. So the first thing I wanted to show you was this set here. So this is the Vintage Collection Special Action Figure set, it's the Jedi uh, Luke Skywalker Jedi Destiny set. Now, I'm not doing a review on this at the moment because I don't really want to open this one. This one came to me absolutely minty fresh. So I've actually got myself a protective case for it. So I'm just going to show you that now. Just gonna... So there you go. Apologies for the glare there. Obviously, it is in a, an acrylic plastic case. But as you can see, that is going to be nicely protected. And there's the back of it. You can see the way it glimmers in the light. So it's like a reflective back. Awesome picture on the back of it there. So I'm really, really happy with this. I do like these three packs and obviously I do want these figures loose and I will get them at some point. Maybe I'll get another one of those. Maybe I can get a non-mint version or something where I can get the figures out. The other thing that I managed to pick up in the last couple of days uh, is another SDC exclusive. So I managed to pick up myself one of the prototype Darth Vader. So this is part of the retro collection. It's the prototype figure with all the different colors. And as you can see mine there, he's got a blue head, blue lightsaber. And no two limbs can be the same on either side of the body. So you can't have an orange arm with an orange leg, etc. So I think this one in particular looks pretty good. Do like that one, I'll just show you the back. And once again, I do have it in a um, acrylic case. So there's the back, sorry, it just can't fit all the way in the camera. But you can see there, a nice shot of Vader and Obi-Wan on the back from that famous scene in the film. Again, it's got that lovely reflective back to it. So those are just two items that I've managed to pick up in the last couple of days. Now, obviously, on to what this video is all about. So this is all gonna be about every single item that I have in my Bosk collection. And obviously, we're probably gonna save the best till last, so please make sure to watch the whole of this video so you get to see the best thing right at the very end. But also, we do have some really nice stuff on the way. So. First up, we have a Black Series figure. So this is the Black Series Bosk. There you go, out of his packet. Awesome figure, one of the best Black Series figures in my opinion. Um, pretty much spot on in every way. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is that his suit may be on too much of a brighter yellow. I prefer the 3.75 inch version. This guy, I prefer the yellow on that guy. Um, and I prefer the sculpt and the paintwork on the head as well as it goes, which is surprising for a smaller figure, but, but there you go. So obviously this is the Black Series version, and this is the Vintage Saga Collection version. So just take those two out of the way now. So we've done those. I also do have another Black Series version from the archive. Again, I've got a acrylic case for this one just to keep this one nice. Um, so he's all protected on card. So I do try and collect uh, loose and carded figures if I can, uh, depending on how much cash I've got at the time. Uh, next thing up is a Topps trading card. So this is an awesome trading card. Pretty sure this is with limited run. And that's a really nice image of Bosk there on the front. Uh, so that's that. I also do have another trading card which is the Bounty Hunters trading card. Now this was actually gifted to me by Alex from the Hyperspace Vault channel. So if you haven't checked out their channel, please check out their channel after this video. So Alex, he uh, does some videos with his dad, Dave, really good videos. And he gifted me this when he sent, when they sent me a uh, tie, uh, the Vintage Collection TIE Fighter that, I, that they picked up for me in America. So thank you very much for that. Next up, we have a couple of other little figures. So I've got the Lego minifigure of Bosk. This is the 
most recent version came in the in the bounty hunter battle pack so that's him I do have the other version that came with the slave one in 2010 I think it was uh, the printing job isn't so good as this one it's not as much detail because obviously it came out nearly 10 years ago but that's actually in the box in my loft so I didn't want to have to get that down just to show you but I do have this Lego minifigure Bosque which is awesome next up I do have this other little Bosque figure now I apologize I do not know what line this guy was from it's more for the kids uh, but I had to get the Bosque version of this as you can see pretty nice little figure so if you know what this comes from let me know in the in the comments section below as you can see he's pretty good I also have probably the smallest Bosk item in my collection now, which is this guy here. I'll get some more light on him. So this is from the Battle Pods, and uh, they're now called Microforce, I think. But when this guy came out, it was from the, is it Fighter Pods or Battle Pods? Something like that. But again, for a tiny little Bosk, loads of detail on him, which I, was, which I do like. You can use the little pipe going into his back there. And some nice moulding on the back of his head. Tiny little Bosque figure there. Next up, I have the Japanese vinyl Funko. So, premium Funko. And Stu from Eggman Studios on Instagram actually picked this up for me for something like $7.99, which is an absolute bargain. Don't really collect pops, but, you know, when there's Bosque available, you've got to get him. So, there he is in his box. Still haven't opened him. Not sure if I will or not. Uh, but again, great boss collectible to have. So that's him. Next up in my collection, I do have the Kotu Bukia Bosks. This is the most recent Bosk. I did a review on him, so if you haven't checked that review out, I'll leave a link in the, in the description below for that. You can see there, he comes with a magnetic stand. Awesome looking Bosk. Quite pricey, I think this was. I think this is like $80, something like that. Uh, but he looks pretty awesome as well. Great paintwork, great, great sculpting and everything. And yep, just another great item to have if you are collecting Bosk. Now I forgot to mention earlier when I was showing you the Saga Collection Bosk loose figure. I do have him carded as well on this lovely unpunched card. I take them out of those cases that they came with basically and just put him in, normal, in a normal case so he can go on the wall and uh, you know match all the others. But yeah, lovely card, Vintage Saga Collection, Bosk, and as you can see there, shows you a picture of the original figure, which is always nice, I do like the backs of these cards, Bosk Bounty Hunter, and this is probably, I'd probably say it's my favourite carded figure that I have from the modern line, not only because I do like Bosk obviously, but the card back's great, classic card back, but also because the figure is like a top figure. You, I don't really see how they can improve on this Bosk and he just looks awesome sitting there in his in his bubble you know, if you're collecting the Vintage Collection or the Saga and the Saga Vintage Collection and all those you really do need this one on your wall in my opinion and next up I have a comic so this is the John Tyler Christopher action figure variant cover for Star Wars 33 now this is a couple of years ago now, but I had the pleasure of announcing this for him. So he knew that I was obviously a really big fan of Bosk and I was also a massive fan of his work. So we kind of collaborated and he basically sent me one in advance way before anyone else got their hands on them. And I sort of announced it on one of my videos, which was really, really cool of him to do that for me. And obviously great to get this comic in the collection, as you can see, great image of Bosk there on the right hand side and awesome version of him in the bubble and there's you know these these comic card backs from John Tyler Christopher always look great every single one he does always looks amazing and it's just the reflection that he gets on the drawing of the bubble and everything really brings it to life and the figures really pop and everything so um, if you haven't got any of those I would advise you collect them although they have been going for a couple of years now so you probably have to go Ooh, way back two years now to get them all but that's Bosk he was an exclusive so only 3,000 copies of this guy were ever made so I'm pleased that I actually do have two of these I do have one 
in a box in my collection where I've got all of them and I do have this one ready to be signed by Alan Harris but I understand that he's um, not too well at the moment which is a real shame obviously hope that he gets a speedy recovery yeah so best wishes to Alan Harris so that's, uh, Star Wars 33 boss cover next up I have a couple of Hot Wheels items so this one is uh, sort of like a camper van truck thing real riders um, lovely image of Bosk on the card as you can see there so this is the bounty hunter series Hot Wheels and you get Bosk on the side of the car itself now this was actually sent to me by a fan of the channel called Kyle in the US he actually saw it in one of his local shops and he DM me on Twitter and said would you like me to send one my treat and I was like absolutely if you really don't mind thank you very much because I've never actually seen this here in the UK so that was great to get that and the other Hot Wheels I have is a two pack so this is a more recent one character cars you get the boss car and you also get a Boba Fett sort of dragster there you know so Hot Wheels isn't really my thing but obviously Star Wars Hot Wheels are a thing and uh, obviously if there's going to be a couple with Bosk then I want them for my collection all right so next up is the power of the force Bosk now this is something I've had in my collection for years and years now I remember when the power force came out you know I actually was like everyone else I went out and got loads and loads and loads of them I've since sold them all they're not really my thing I don't really like the sort of muscle men figures uh, but I know some people like them and you know they're pretty old now it's this 98 is it 1996 on there 1996 power of the force um, obviously I had to have Bosk it's actually not too much of a bad figure really as you can see there now something that I don't have is the Bosk unleashed figure that's something I'd really really like uh, but it's just a little bit out of my price range on eBay to be honest uh, but that sort of thing can wait if you watch the blacked out Ewoks channel you'll see that he recently got the Russian bootleg version of this one so the one that's all pink again that's something that I don't own but maybe I maybe I will in the future all right so that is the power of the force boss I don't actually have him loose just kept him carded that one next up is another modern figure so this is the I think this is called the saga line so obviously it's the uh, rebels packaging and you also get IG-88 in this one uh, but that's a pretty good looking Bosk. Okay, it's 5 POA, but pretty good sculpting on him and everything. I haven't actually got him loose. Maybe I'll have to get him loose as well. But again, nice image of him with the other bounty hunters on the back of the card there. I think this guy was from 2015. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, can't actually see a date on the back of the box, but I'm th I think it's 2015. And you can pick these up 10 a penny now. They're so cheap. You can get these on eBay really, really cheap. Uh, but still, nice one to have in a Bosk collection. Okay, so on to the uh, better stuff that I have in my collection, or the, the more special ones that to me. And the first one we have is the Cap 2 vehicle. This is the vintage uh, vehicle. Now I've got this in a protective case again. Now I know this isn't really anything to do with Bosk. It wasn't Bosk ship or anything. This, these ships weren't even actually in the films. But I always, when I was a kid and I had this, I always thought it was Bosk's because obviously the image on the box has Bosk flying the thing. So to me, if you're going to be a Bosk collector, then really you need a Cap 2. Um, and this one's a really nice one actually. It's quite a nice box, not too much damage. A little bit of a dent on the corner there. Slight fold down the middle, but nothing too heavy. And obviously the thing inside is unopened, brand new. All the sticker sheets are there and everything so this is one of my prized possessions next up is my favorite vintage figure so this is a vintage Bosk and I really like this one so hardly any paint wear or anything he's a really nice example and I do know that you can get variants of this guy so I do want the one with the greener head I think this is the one with the more orange orange head I believe um, but yeah no discoloration on this guy very very few bits of paint wear just a tiny bit on his feet 
um, original weapon and everything. So I'm really pleased to have this vintage Bosque in my collection. But even more so, and it's time for my favourite piece and probably my rarest piece that I do have in the whole of my boss collection. And that is the Vintage Bosque on cards. So this is a graded card. It's only graded at 70%, but that is because there's just a few minor defects. We've got a bit of sticker removal, litho wear or whatever you call it there. He is unpunched. And we do have the slightest of dents on the bubble, just very, very slight dent on the side there. But uh, yeah, great example, as you can see there, unpunched. Really, really nice card. Now I searched high and low for one of these because basically they're pretty hard to get hold of in this, in this sort of condition, especially if you want one with a clear bubble, which was a must for me, it had to have a clear bubble. So basically, a lot of the Kenner cards, the bubble goes yellow. And especially if you get the Return of the Jedi version, it's virtually always yellow. So to get one that's nice and clear like that on an Empire Strikes Back card, so his, his debut card, you know, I searched high and low for this and I ended up getting it uh, last year, I believe. Um, and it's kind of started off a rather expensive hobby in getting other vintage carded figures which is a bit of a shame really well shame for my wallet anyway but my collection's becoming quite nice as it goes so i will be doing a collection video soon starting to get this room sorted out and uh, i'm going to get some cabinets put up and everything i'm going to get all my loose figures out and i'm going to get it all sorted so eventually i can do a nice sort of collection video of everything that i've got for you but i just thought i'd do my boss collection for you today so i hope you like what you've seen today i hope you like this video thank you very much for watching as per usual um you know if you like this video don't forget to drop a like down below it really, really does help the channel and if you're new to the channel please subscribe for future star wars videos thank you very much for watching as per usual and we shall see you on the next one